Hi. Good day. Um, I want to welcome you to today's show. I um, want to say uh, good day to you all. And um, I want to say I hope the weekend has been fantastic, has been great. Uh, this is your host, Larry Dune. I hope everything goes to those of you that have gone to church today. I'll be um, service uh, was fun, uh, is fa was fantastic. Uh, to all our friends in Asia, in Europe, in UK, in um, South Africa, in um, Canada, in US, you're welcome to today's show. Today we are going to be discussing going by the various uh, questions I received uh, during the week uh, we are going to start right away right you remember last week um, I talked about the foundation when uh, you purchase the land and um, the digging the materials that you need, the granite, three-quarter granite, the sand, the sharp sand, the cement, and um, the water and all, all, all the rest done at the same time. However, there is one thing that uh, I failed to mention um, last week. Welcome, guys. We're increasing. We've got four people online now. How are you today? Let me just quickly uh, say hi to you guys. I hope the week, uh, the weekend has been wonderful. To those of us who uh, who did not work today, uh, weekends. I hope it's been a very restful weekend, and I hope we have enough energy to uh, to hustle as we used to hustle uh, from tomorrow onward. And those of us that are going to work, I believe you're going to have a good time at work. However, you can be using one. Um, just put on your one of your devices. Um, your laptop or your mobile phone and then we'll come to another good show please invite your friends to come over to come and listen and uh, learn one or two things uh, before they can start their project and if they've started their project now uh, there's still there's no, no, no knowledge that is waste they can come on this show and we can rub minds together we are on this show we are trying to lift people's spirit up people's um, people that have already lost hope in starting one project or the other in Nigeria, this is what this forum is all about. It's not a doom forum, it's a helpful forum where people's hope uh, 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 can come alive again. All right, today, like I said last week, we mentioned about three quarter granite, sharp sand, the land, the pegging, the, uh, the digging of this uh, foundation, and then we start the work. We, we, we mentioned all those. Um, uh, projects that you can do conduit pipe, yes, but nobody does um, um, ex, um, outdoor pipe in, um, in this modern day now, you don't have to your bathroom pipe your bathroom um, uh, waste pipe your toilet, your kitchen pipes, everything is now conduit, it's buried in the concrete buried under the, under the foundation uh, before the, how the, the fourth block is laid I showed you the pictures last week I, I don't want to go back to that now, but in the modern day construction, you can bury all those by, um, uh, things that you see on the wall. Uh, you can put them under the foundation. You can put the cabling on the foundation, so everything comes up with your with your construction. So, like I said, one thing that I need to sorry, I need to uh, I failed, I forgot to mention uh, last Sunday was when you purchase your land this is one thing that you need to be very conversant with a lot of people where um when we want to start a project we are so uh in a hurry but you cannot be in a hurry more than the investment that you have you don't want your investment to just go down the drain people spend three four five millions after spending four five millions they realize that there are certain things that had that, ha that was not done when they started their project and uh, this brings me to the um the, one of the questions i received during the week there with me um i received a few um inquiries uh, during the week regarding when i buy the land 
what do I do? So if my voice is too loud, can you just tell me so that I, I can turn the volume um, of the set down? Bear with me. Let's see what we can do now. If it's a bit too loud, uh, let me get the master volume out and then drop it down. Okay, bear with me. Sorry, one minute. I'm trying to control the volume of the master volume. Um, bear with me. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Don't want it to. I want it to be balanced. Okay, that's that's that seems to be okay. All right. Uh, one more time. Yeah, that seems to be okay now. Um, like I said, there's no point spending, um, um, doing so much, spending so much investment like three million, five million, six million, only to allow. Uh, to let the local government, depending on the um, the location where your property is, and then they come and put a red IX mark uh, on the wall of the building. Some people have reached, they have even uh, 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 plastered their, 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 their project, they started plastering, and unfortunately, these unfortunate incidents just happen. So, um, right now, this is uh, when you purchase the land, either half plot or full plot or acres or the no, it doesn't matter the number of size, whatever size of land which you have purchased, the first important thing after you purchase is to get the service of a surveyor, right? You get the service of a surveyor. Um, a lot of people, I know some, some, some villages, you can start your project just like that without doing all this. Um, and even even um, maybe your, your grandfather or grandmother or granddad gave you a piece of land, you can, in the rural areas, you can start your construction without anybody. But Nigeria has gone beyond that because of this land tunnel system and people fighting over land and people encroaching on people's land. So you got to take the first approach after you purchase the land which is a survey. You need to survey, 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 survey prices or um, pr um, cost varies um, from state to state. So when you buy your half plot, it might have been surve surveyed before, but when you purchase your own, you need to survey. You need to get the service of a surveyor who is going to um, give you the, 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 the accurate measurement of the size of land which you um, you have purchased, and uh, to tell so that there is a mark, they can put the corner piece. There is a uh, one or two, three, six or seven, ten, twenty blocks can be put in all the four corners of the size of the property which you have purchased. Okay, so just to be able to demarcate and, and mark your own land out of the um, uh, the area where this land. Um, in, in the middle of other people's air, um, land. So this is to identify your own piece of land. Okay, so like I said, in the villages, you don't have to do that. But when you are coming to the city, prime locations like Lagos Island, like um, mainland in Lagos Island, um, like um, some places very close to Lagos Island in local state, if for local government or some local governments, um, I believe you understand what I'm trying to say. You need to survey the land. And uh, to those of you who are just coming into the construction industry, um, Sevier, we bring their equipment to the area and do what they need to do to be able to um, uh, mark your own and, and, and bring out the own portion of your own land. Okay, that brings us to what do the Sevier do? They bring their equipment, they stand it around, they measure it what um, length and breadth and the size and the shape of what your land uh, looks like, okay? Depending on the, the area, so we are in Ogun State, if a local government starts from 200,000 Naira. So um, I cannot give you an accurate figure of some other uh, places. Well, so we are surveying, I'm sorry, so we are prices um, in Ogun State, if a local government, where most of those projects which you see on YouTube that I have done. Uh, it ranges from 200,000 Naira, okay? So, and it all depends on 
the um, location of the land. So when they survey the land, there is um, the 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 the, uh, the outcome of it comes in the paper piece and uh, paper piece that you see in my hand here. Bear with me. Um, I'm going to show you the picture now. It is an interactive. If you have any objection or anything you want to um, share with us today, please don't hesitate to share it with us. We, we want to learn from one another. We want to learn from each other. We want to learn. We want to make sure that people don't get, get, get into trouble when they have land, when they purchase the land. We, don't, we want to make sure that people's money is not taken away. So that's one of the reasons, one of the objectives and uh, purpose of this forum, okay? Right. Um, when the survey uh, uh, um, have completed the survey, they're going to come out with their report. And it comes in a published uh, image like this, okay? I'm going to get it close to you, right? This is what the survey or uh, survey report looks like. As you can see, uh, bear with me. as you can see, that is the size of a half lot uh, that has been surveyed. All right, I'm not going to let you see the address, okay? But I'm, I, you, I, I, I can bring it so closely to you there. That is what. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting that right. Let me get to the camera. So, like I said, this is uh, how the report of a survey land that a surveyor provides at the end of the day. Okay, like I said, depending on the local government or the area where you are buying the land, uh, their prices vary. But if I want to so recommend to you, um, this one that you see here uh, was uh, 250000 naira done. And, and I need to tell you something, please. They are going to, I've mentioned it on the once before on this forum. There are four copies of the survey, no, no, sorry, there are about there should be about six copies, two sent to the local government for approval, and uh, four, your surveyor must give you four. So those of us who are just going, coming into the um, building construction, the surveyor must give you um, an approved survey, um, a chartered surveyor must approve it, and when they are giving you the report, please don't let them give you a fake report. There are so many fake surveyor out there. They will charge you less money, but this does not go to land registry. Okay? This is not recorded in land registry. Okay? Please, bear with me. Let me see if I've got questions that I need to answer on this. Right. Please, if you're watching, if you have any, any query or any questions that you want clarification, please don't hesitate to, um, to let us know. You're welcome to today's forum. Please invite friends, okay? When you purchase your land and the, your contractor or the person that sells the land to you is telling you that you need to survey, they, they, they know what, they, what they're saying is right. You need to um, obey them. Don't let them swindle you by giving you some fictitious, um, bogus um, figure for survey, all right? Here, this forum is to guide you against bogus uh, contractors, bogus um, uh, 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 fees, okay. The fee in Ogun State, like this, this place is under Ogun State, all right. Um, this is two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Some of them will say, "Bring one hundred thousand naira. We are going to do it for you." I'm going to tell you the reason why you should not go for the cheapest of it, law or so that is survey, and you will have all the information about about the order of the of your, the date that you were surveyed. And at the bottom is a seal of chartered account, a chartered severe seal. Okay, look at this. Um, I don't know whether the camera can. Um, you could see the embossed. Right, there are two types of seal. There is a red seal, like that one that is issued in the court, and there's also an embossed seal. You could see that it's raised. This one is raised, if you see. See that is, is a bit um, bumpy. If you look at sorry, let me. If you look at here, uh, sorry. If you look at this place where I'm, oh sorry, the can, where I'm touching, you can see the area 
is raised. This, I'm oh, sorry, that area I'm touching there. Um, that is to tell you the genuineness. Oh, sorry, I'm, I need to get that close up for some reason. I can't. All right, you can see it now. You can see the seal. Seal has a little bit of uh, pimples or image that is embossed. Okay, it's not just on any paper, right? So that one also must be there to tell you the genuineness of the survey. All right, so that is the genuineness that would indicate that that was approved by a chartered surveyor. Well, they, they charge, they charge your uh, the surveyor. So your surveyor might not be a chartered surveyor, but a, a good surveyor must make sure that that is that. So there are two types of um, of survey. Okay, um, sorry, bear with me. I've just lost something now. There are two types, two types of survey. The one I've just shown you now is a seal that is compressed and pressed to the um, to the com uh, to the material used as a, as as as, um, as a report of the survey. Okay, so it turns there you get the local government um, um, where the, 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 the local government, the state. And the scale and all sorts of and the name um, of the of your name will be on that. Okay, so I hope you're following me. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me on this issue of um, survey. Okay, so you, when they do the survey, when they are giving you the report of the survey, you look at the bottom right or bottom left whether it has a circle, an emblem. Some of them, like I said, has a circle um, that it has serrated. Serrated edges, zigzag edges. That is a seal of, uh, of approval from a charter surveyor. If it doesn't have that, it's fake. And that means that it's a cheaper one, which they have, um, the, 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 the cheaper money, cheaper option, your surveyor is giving. They will, take, they will take the money, they will go and bring you something like this, but it might not go to the local government record. And if you go to the local government record, it takes ages. Now, that brings me to the... Uh, uh, the amount of survey. Now, there are two types or three types of survey. Uh, survey. There's one that you can get the report approved within a week in the local government. Um, I know of local government, uh, of uh, Ogun State, some of the Ogun State local government. I know some of the Lagos Island local government. Now, the more the surveyor charges, when you see a surveyor that is charging you um, hundred thousand or fifty thousand. Let me be on. You know, that's an hungry surveyor. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to run with your money. That the, that um, survey report does not go beyond the pocket of the surveyor. It's not going to enter the record of the local government. So when you are buying a land, you have to be very very careful of who is handling your surveyor. Uh, who your surveyor is? Who is handling the survey or surveying of the land? Because at the end of the day, you might buy the land for three million, several millions, and you don't you survey it with two hundred, with hundred thousand, and it does not get anywhere. When you want to start your work, that's when you want to, you will have problem from um, officials from the local government of that area. Like I said, if you buy buy a land in the in the in the, in the, in, the uh, in the village, maybe you won't have any trouble. But in, in Lagos and Ogun State. This got to be done. It's one of the parameters from requirements that is requested when you when you want to start your building. So the seal of approval uh, that is that. Also, when you when you um, when you are paying for the cheap one, the cheap one for hundred thousand down less hundred thousand and less uh, takes um, over a year to get registered at the local government where um, um, you're, you're registering it. But I can guarantee you with um, average of 200,000, average of 200,000 naira, average of 200,000, 250,000 naira, if you, if you call after the, the, the surveyor has taken, has given you the report, within a week or two, if you contact the local government with that reference number that is, that is on top of the on a part of the survey, they will have the record that there's a, a land that has been surveyed, owned by Mr. So-so-so and so, 
and that means that your land is now registered with the local government okay so that is what you are paying more money for you don't in this day and age nobody wastes time anymore to say oh i'm going to pay two hundred thousand and not wait for um one year before this land is registered before this land before this shows in the archives before this shows in the record or record books of the local government so in the, the, the ones that are more that are more expensive like i said when you get yourself ask your surveyor and say i want the record of my land to appear within a week or two or three uh, so that when you call them from your base in asia in us in canada in europe anywhere outside nigeria anonymously to find out whether your land is registered in the land registry then the, your, 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 your surveyor will know what you mean. Your surveyor will not fob you off. If it's one of those surveyors, apprentice surveyors that don't know anything, they will, they will not want to get involved with it because they know that you are catching them uh, red handed. They, they know that you know what you're talking about. Okay? So when you ask your surveyor, say, Look, surveyor, um, let me ask you, I want, would you be able to do. Um, 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 Will you be able to do a survey with a report that, that is, is, is stand tendered at the local government and I want it um, to show on the local government within a month, oh, no, sorry, within a week, two or three, then they will tell you the fee, the fee of it being registered uh, instantly. And then if you don't want it, if you don't mind, you just want to take your time to do things, then you can pay the cheaper rate one and then that means that in the next one year, um, whenever you call, um, you, the, the, your, it will take a long time, maybe a year, before your, 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 your things are registered. However, um, so it, that means if you, you, you cannot start your building. You cannot, even if you do a, a drawing, you draw a, a building plan, you cannot um, um, embark on any construction without this being approved. However, some people get away with it, uh, but uh, when the uh, local government and planning officials start working about and start marking the house with a red paint and red cross, then you're not start asking, you're not paying them to come to, to, to remove that mark. Because you cannot, once they mark your property, once you start your project and you, they mark your property, you can't carry on to do anything from that, that onward until you go to the local government and pay something. Maybe they're asking for 200,000 now. The 250,000 or 200,000 that you don't want to pay to the, for the surveyor to put this thing registered and on, uh, 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 in the archives or on the land registry, then you're not paying double. You don't have the time for that. You don't want to waste your, you just want to get along with your project, okay? All right, so let me get your questions before I move to the next stage. Um, right, have we got questions? To, to ask today, uh, please, if you have questions before I move on, okay? I've explained the, the, so the, the, the seal must be there. It, some of them have red, red circle seal with serrated edges. And some, some, some chattered, some uh, severe have, some chattered severe have embossed seal, okay? All right? Okay, please bring your questions. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna be long here today. I've got, 17 minutes more today because I've got quite a few inquiries. And, um, if you need to uh, WhatsApp me, this is my WhatsApp number. Um, WhatsApp number, um, tell me. So get yourself against um, wrong um, advice, plus four four. Seven eight two five five four three five three five. Right. So what we are trying to guide people against is not spending double money. Hi, Kazim. Hello. I'm good. I, I didn't see you last Sunday. I hope you, um, everything is all right. I hope everything is all right, my brother. I hope we're, we're all hustling. We're all hustlers. No one. You see, uh, a a part. How do they how do they put it? A partridge is not taller than another partridge except the one that stands on the reed makes him talk so we are all equal my brother 
whether you're in Canada, whether you're in Asia, Malaysia, Singapore, whether you're in Can whether you're in the US, whether you're in Europe, you see, we're all hustlers and we will hustle to succeed in Jesus' name. All right, so please, if you have any uh, query regarding the survey um, explanation, which I've just done now, uh, please bring a comment, all right? Uh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, thank you, Douglas. Thank you, thank you. Right, please, um, I want this forum to be very popular. So, um, please subscribe. I know some of us have subscribed. Please invite friends. Uh, we're doing good work here to make sure that we don't, we, we get enlightened before we start our project. So please, if you if you buy the land, you got to survey it before you do the building plan, okay? And it's got to be approved and registered with the land registry. There are cheaper ones. Oh, but I saw you are teaching about it. Oh, great! I, I I didn't know because your name did not come up. Oh, good man. Well done. Th thanks for your encouragement. Thank you, Kazim. So, um, the the survey which I did not mention before the foundation yesterday is this. So you got to get four of these copies, and the material has a little bit of cloth. It, it, it looks is it has some cloth. Um, at the back of it, um, sealed together. Um, if, if I try to put this on the camera, because it's not ordinary, not an ordinary uh, paper. Okay, so it's pop. It's uh, published. Right, I don't know what's wrong with this camera. It's a bit published, and uh, it's got all those, and then that's the back of it. Okay, all right. So thank you for that. Um, any anything anything that bothers you, please let us know about it, right? Um, okay. Um, the build, we, we go to building plan. You see, now we did the foundation um, thing last Sunday. Now we've done, we've done, we're doing survey now. I believe we're taking some. We're learning one or two things. Those of I know. I'm not talking to those. Those are already experienced. Who knows? The trick of the trade very well. So I'm talking of the people that are just coming. The uh, the 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 the, the, the um, um, people that are just coming who don't have an idea of what this is all about um, in terms of uh, building a house. Right. I'm going to the next one. Okay. What am I taking out of the bag now? Is what the building plan entails and what it looks like. Those of us we are buying, buying land here and there, building houses here and there. I know you are experienced, but those that have not done anything at all, they are just coming to building construction, and they are not based in Nigeria, and they are all here. This is just a forum to give them a kind of basic understanding of what it takes before you start your project. Before you start, sorry, I'm turning upside down. Before you start your project, right? I'm opening, um, I've mentioned it before on this forum. This is your architect will give you things like this. After you do the survey, you might do survey and, not, and decide to leave the land for quite a while, maybe a year, maybe six months maybe two years but when that is the first important thing so that somebody will not encode that paper you will bring it out as a, excuse me like the land that you see on the even then even if you do the survey but you can fight it that this is the side they can't encroach onto your land right so that's what the survey is all about so we move to the building plan Pierre will be, let me see if i have any questions before i go on. right um uh, my mom was saying something about a red copy too. Yes, that is the one I said. Um, the seal, different types of seal. There is the red seal. There is the one with the emboss. Okay, so I understand what your what your mom your mom is protecting you very well. So that's the the uh, the the originality of the survey, survey. That's why that seal must be there. Okay, uh, bear with me. Uh, so we go to the building plan, okay? So when you, 
your architect, when well, after you've done the building plan, I'm oh, sorry, after you've done the survey, then you don't the you do the, the you get the service of a, of a of a of an architect who will who you are going to speak to and tell them what exactly you want. What do you want? How do you want it? Three bedroom, four bedrooms, five bedrooms, swimming pool. Um, you want the the, the, the kind of um, uh, layout. You want lights to surround everywhere. You don't want pipe to hang all around the place. You want where they're going to be spreading their clothes. You want the socket where to be very deep. You don't want water draining right now. You want the roof to be like this. You want the uh, aluminum long span. You want general roof. You just tell your architect what exactly you want. You want a car park that uh, looks like the one that you're using abroad. You just describe whatever you want. Your architect will do it for you as long as you have the money. You, 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 you can do it. Okay, so, right. That's the first page of the, um, the building plan, which you're going to do after the survey. Okay, right. So, look at this now. Look at this image. Right? This image indicates that woman. This is all the plots of land in the area where you picked, you bought a land. While the architect is trying to draw, is going to show you the layout as one of the pages of the building plan. That is, if you see that dark spot, that dark spot there is where your land will be, will be marked. That, that is where your own land is among all the land in the area. So the architect must be able to bring about what, where your own land is located among all the land in the area. Okay, that is one of it. Um, the name of the architect will be there. The address of the area will be there. The size of the land will be there. The, the, the streets where the land is, the local government, everything will always will be there. Okay, for confidentiality, I'm not going to show you too close to that. All right? So, and the name of the architect will be there. Right. Then there will be a, sorry. That is the building plan after you've done the survey before you do the foundation that we did last Sunday. So that is your land as it's been shaded. Okay? Right. That's your land there. Every page has significant analysis of what they have drawn. Okay? So your architect must be able to do things like this. When you don't have things like this and start building a house, you're going to get your house, your house marked in red paint, and then you're going to be paying double money. Right. Average price, um, the rest of it, I can't show you, dear woman, dear woman. Uh, okay, right. The average price of an architect, okay, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not saying of a, a dressed man who do a rough sketch. I'm not, I, I'm not talking about those ones. There are so many cheap dressmen. Um, they are not an architect. They are, they just, they are just dressmen. They can draw. So they can, they can charge you 50,000 and 100,000, but it goes nowhere. Okay. Um, it will not be approved. But a good architect starts depending on your design um, something of about a half plot uh, half plot two bedrooms two bedrooms two, two flats down and uh, two flats up you pay the rent of um, uh, 200 to 250,000 naira. that's normal I have an architect have asked me before, some architect have built me 800,000 yeah, depending on if you're buying the land in Lekki, Aja, the location will depict the amount you're going to pay. But if you have a good architect, you have a good relationship with a good architect, um, roughly around from prime locations, prime locations, um, 
that they will take one million eight hundred thousand five hundred thousand. They can take two hundred fifty thousand naira from you. However, the local government, like Lagos State, local local government, for approval before they can approve your plan for construction, those foundations that we showed last Sunday in Lagos Island and some states, they will not let you build anything before it is made approved. People take law into their hands and they start building. They say, well, well I'm going to be seeing them. I'll be seeing. We are based abroad. We don't have that time to, to be going to go and go on local government today and pay one, one man. Please don't let them come and break my window. Don't let them come and destroy my my my. my, my they, they, don't let them come and um, mess up the construction. So you want to avoid uh, 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 your construction not to be disrupted. You are going to pay a good architect to submit your plan for approval. Because if you start construction and it's not approved, um, you're playing with fire. What you should have paid, when you should have paid 300,000 or 250,000 for your, for your uh, building plan to be paid, sent to for approval, you are now paying 50,000 naira, 30,000 naira, 100,000 naira to beg uh, local government officials not to come and uh, break and send people to, um, uh, officials to come and crack the wall that some of the blocks that you spend money, uh, beautiful design that they've already done for you. So you don't want that to happen to you. All right, so you need to pay a good architect who knows the trade, the trade very well. Who will go to the local government and submit it right there and make sure and monitor it and watch it that it went till the time is approved. Okay, of course, some places they don't approve it for six months, some places they approve it one year, some places they approve it within, within a month. So it, it depends on the good architect that you get. Okay, that will do. Uh, a, do a good plan and do the approval. A good do a good, a good, a good approval for you. Okay. On the building plan, how many minutes have I spent today? Because I'm a bit tired. I don't want to spend one hour today. So I've got five minutes to run this all to give people. Um, uh, sorry, I've got. I'll, I'll, I'll make it ten minutes. All right. So um, this is another a page for the ground floor. The architect. We tell we go do page by page analysis of the okay. Let me get it close to you. So if you see as the ground floor, it says as the ground floor plan, how the ground floor plans look like, right? The architect must be able to draw things like this in details, okay, and the measurement from point A to point B, all right? Okay, so that is that page, about that page. Let's move to the next page. That's the roof. And no, 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 let anybody use your hand. Aha! Okay, let me, let me just, I'm coming to come back to that auto card. And because there are different different kinds of uh, drawings uh, which will, you, you can get. That's the roof. Uh, first floor plan again, roof. Right, that's the every, every page has analysis. All right, that's the first floor plan. All right, they all have their own analysis. Okay, all right, your architect must be able to analyze that. Okay, let's move to the next page. Um, okay, do, do you know what? I'm not going to anyway, you've got to. Have the building plan in different sections. The uh -huh. look at it. This is the cross section. All right. Your architect should be able to give you all these analyses. Okay. Okay. Right. Should be able to give you things like that. Should be able to draw things like that and explain things for you. Right. This is um, longitudinal section see they should be able to do things like that you should be able when they're giving you they can dhl it to you okay All right every page has meaning okay front elevation so 
sorry, that's the front. The architect should be able to give you analysis of what this is all about. Okay, and explain. See, that's the um, front elevation, the front entrance, the windows that has POP, the roof of the first bungalow. That's the project that you see the video on YouTube there. Okay, look at that very well. Okay, I think I believe you can see that. Right. Okay. Right. So your architect should be able to bear with me. Do I have any questions? Right, we move to the next page. That is the site elevation. They have to explain all this to you. See? The most the architect should be able to explain and draw this for your understanding, okay? Right, should be able to, if you see the edges of the, that's POP edges and, and, and the roof, the roof that's, um, uh, initially was supposed to be aluminum also, but I changed my mind to Gerald roof, depending on, the, on your pocket, okay? That's what the architect must be able to do. About seven or eight pages of the breakdown, so that's the back view. I was going to tell you about the bad view, how it looks like as well. You must be able to construct that, okay? You must be able to tell you or show you, draw you the bad view of what the property looks like, okay? And also, they'll be able to tell you, show you the foundation, the roof, see? That is the left side view, okay? If you're proposing to do something similar to this, it's not it's straightforward. To tell your actor to, to watch this. Right. Okay, that's the project that you see on YouTube. Okay. And then, obviously, um, that's just about, like I said, your architect should be able to give you four of these produced, because that's what you're paying them good money for. Right, one, two, three, four. Okay, your architect should be able to um, show you all that. Okay, right. Um, please bring your question. Um, there are two different types of drawings. There is AutoCAD. Um, there is normal drawing that is on the on on, 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 on um, um, tracing paper, big one. And there's one that the machine will print uh, in the modern day. It has to be um, um, AutoCAD. Um, AutoCAD is the best one that for the, when they bring it, when they take it to the local government, they know what they know that your architect know what he's doing. Okay, so uh, you don't want to do something that will be thrown out and then you man will say, I, I want more money, I want more money to see what you have done for me. So, AutoCAD is the one that is more expensive for approval to approval level to everything level, and then the, the local government they can accept it and like it, and then it's done properly. Okay, so. Um, if you have any questions within the next uh, two, three minutes, I'm running on, and uh, we can we can you know share it together. Anything bothering you? Anything that you you, you find a bit not understandable that you want me to explain further? I can just re um, um, quickly run over this. We are all Osla, please. Um, don't say I, I repeat myself. You, you got to look at what I, what you've done right from the beginning of the year. Today is 11th of November. Uh, some people have not, they, they haven't done anything tangible this year uh, because of issues, family issues that they are dealing with. Uncle called today, you give them money. Uncle called, aunt, auntie called today, you give them money. Um, brother called today, they want something to do. Yeah, there's nothing wrong happening there. But you got to look at yourself and, as, and make a, a general as, assessment, appraisal about what you have done um, since the beginning of the year. If you've not been thinking of a project, it is now that you say, well, look, you look at how many years you spent where you are, it is not how long, but how well. You look at how many, how many, more, how many people you've, you've blessed this year in terms of, and you look at the amount that, that's already passed through your hand, and you work hard, and but yet, you still haven't been able to make up your mind on what to do, right? Um, time waits for nobody, though. Uh, at the same time, we have to be very constructive you know, in our in our planning, we have to be very constructive. We have to we have to make sure that look, 
I'm abroad, yet, yes, I know what I'm doing, and I've got to have something uh, 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 erected or something done back at home. So the only way you can do this is to make a bold and quality decision. Uh, people hear information like this, what do they do with it? They have to run with it, they have to practice it. Yes, it, it could be tough sometimes. Um, some people will borrow money, some people will sell things to make sure that they have something little or something that they can call their own back at home. Um, it's not good to be somewhere and not propose to get something back at home. Uh, people that we that don't that, that non Nigerians they are going back home to do something to buy to buy land to, to construct things to buy land so far. So you that you are born in that country, what are you doing? You have to look at this. Well, what have I done this year? Yeah, this year has gone. They yeah, are going to project. I'm going to I'm going to plan for next year. And um, you cannot you cannot get to next year before plan before you start planning. You got to start right now. You got to start looking at putting figures together how you're going to get the money, whether you're going to borrow it, whether you're going to sell things, whether you're going to uh, 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 pursue some work more, work harder. I know we are hardworking Nigerians. We are hustlers. We hustle. And if we are not hustlers, we are not going to be we are not going to be where we are today. If we are not a hustler, we are not going to we, we wouldn't have purchased what we have purchased. If we are not a hustler, we wouldn't have uh, achieved what we have achieved in the number of years we have been abroad. If we are not a hustler, we would have been back at home. If not, we are not a hustler, you would have been uh, a destitute, you would have been in prison. Uh, so we, uh, let's take our hustling and let's get the proceed of our hustling and make sure that we do something back at home. So that is the purpose, main purpose of this forum, that uh, to wake people up, people that have already been very, um, uh, 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 that pursued things before, but for one reason or the other, um, one or two things happen that, uh, that, 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 that slow them, that one or two things have demoralized them. Maybe they've given some people some money in the past to get them some things to build a house or to buy a land, and then, but at the end of the day, they didn't get anything back from me. Now, you don't have to look at the back. You look at the front. You see, that is, that is the past. You're looking at the front now, what can you do with the present situation? You, what can you do with the broken pieces? What can you do with the future? The future is 2019. You start your 2019 right now and then say, by this time next year, oh, I would have bought a land, I would have built um, a bungalow, I would have said, this is what I want to be hearing. This kind of stories I want to be hearing. I've listened to Larry on YouTube and see what I've made with my life after I've had so many things. That's the purpose why um, we do this. And uh, please don't always, always believe all Nigerians are 419. No, the, 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 the forum is to change that mentality, that um, um, belief that every Nigerian that you come across, they are going to swindle you. No, we want to change the pers perception of Nigerians. All of, all of us that are abroad, we're not here for nothing. We could have stayed back home, but we have improved our lives and we, 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 we're more wiser. And above, before you embark on projects, please ask questions. Try and investigate. Try and find out. And when you start your project, do not let the same person who has, whom you've given the contract to, to recommend a tradesman because they are very clever. They make more money from you than you giving them money. Okay, so on, on this note, I'm going to stop here today. And uh, next Sunday, if I have anything, I'll let you know. But don't forget to go to um, ganjua.com. That's where to compare to get building materials. If you want to buy granite, you want to buy sharp sand, you want to buy cement, you want to buy um, name it, building materials, you got to go to Ganjua first and uh, very far. If you have any problems, if you have any issues, if you want me to, to explain anything to you, Please don't forget my numbers, my WhatsApp number is plus four four seven eight two five five four. Sorry, plus four four seven eight two five five four three five three five. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends, many friends to come to this forum. We can uh, uh, together achieve things together. And um Gandra.com. Uh, sorry, um thanks inside on this. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Adele. Thank you. It's good to meet you. So uh, the, the spelling of Ganja is G for Gary, A for Alpha, L for November, um, J for Juliet, U for Uniform, A for Alpha, 
Ganjia.com. G for Golf, A for Alpha, N for November, G, J for Juliet, U for Uniform, A for Alpha.com. So you can, you know, uh, subscribe, invite friends, and go to that website to see anything you can you can you can compare price. It doesn't have to be the best price. You have to be wise. Ask questions. Google. Google is very good. You see so many things you can you can uh, find out on Google. And please, when you are giving your project out, don't always get the, the, the cheapest code. Don't say, oh, this one is very cheap. I'm going to pay for it. At the end of the day, when something is too cheap, you end up spending double. You end up spending three times the amount of money that you're not supposed to spend. So please be wise. That's why we are abroad. We cannot let the hoodlums, those charlatans, dictate to us. We are wiser than them. We have to we have to make sure that we we are pace setters. You cannot swing. We hustle. We make uh, we, we, we 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 pay the, 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 the price to get the money to put things together, right? And then somebody wants to run away with the money. No, it's not possible. You won't let that happen. So um, this video will be available um, after the next maybe 30 minutes when v Google have uh, vet uh, vetted it that is not abusive or anything. Um, you can watch it again and send it to friends. Also, I want to send. I want to uh, mention here. Nigeria is playing South Africa next Saturday. Part of the thing I want to be using this forum uh, for. I will be running the commentary of the match between Nigeria, no, South Africa, and Nigeria. Is at 3 p.m. Um, I think it's 1 p.m. or 3 p.m. South African time. Or Greenwich time, Greenwich Meridian time, I will be running the commentary. So you can come on this show when you when I when I come alive on on Saturday. It's not going to be a building material um, um, talk. It's going to be football. We're going to talk about football. We're going to interact uh, 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 about uh, Nigeria's chances of qualifying for Cameroon 2019. Don't forget, Nigeria has this game. It's a very important game. We're going to play it, and we must qualify. We are all Nigerians. Green, white, green. Long live Nigeria. And then uh, I want. I'm so. I'm buzzing that this forum is to change people's life. This forum is to change people's opinion about Nigerians. This forum is to change the dynamics and the perception that we have concerning our brothers. We are abroad. We are hustlers. We should, we should look after one another. We should, give, we should run with the information that we have. We should be a pace setter. We should be a frontliner. All right? That is what this world is all about. So I'm going to stop now um, on, on Saturday, um, which is this uh, next Saturday. I am going to run the commentary. You will see me live uh, on Saturday afternoon. Okay? Until we see on Saturday, until we run together, we we'll share things together. If you have anything to share, my line is there. Um, um, my, tele my telephone number is on the phone. Copy it down. Plus four four seven eight two five five four three five three five. All right. Um, like I said, we are all hustlers. Let's continue to hustle in a good way, not in a bad way, to show that we are proved um, as good Nigerians. Around that note, I say, well done and God bless you. Um, I'm drawing, drawing the curtain for today's program. It's good having you on the show. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your encouragement. Long live Nigerians. God bless you. Bye-bye.